One goes to the mechanic workshop while the other makes friends with the tailors because there lies the materials she needs for her installations. She picks up the pieces that fall from the table. They are part of a pair of artists dubbed as the Young Contemporaries and they show off their works of art at the Relay Gallery in Lagos. They are young as they are talented and they are here to show skill and technique highlighted as one to watch out for at the Young Contemporaries taking place at Relay Gallery in Lagos. An artistic initiative that identifies, promotes and mentors visual artists, giving them the tools to succeed critically and commercially in the global art marketplace. Looking at my work, uh, the use of automobile is new, it is original. I think it is, it is my idea, I came up with the idea and the use of colors and everything, they are so, they are so original. So I think there is nothing as good as being original and that actually makes me unique. The themes in this year's works include feminism, culture, self-identity, racial boundaries and duality of human nature. Fauvism was a movement in France, um, a French movement, and it was about the wild use of colours. They were actually sarcastically called Fauvist because they use colours widely. And um, that is seen in my paintings because if you look at my paintings, you find that I expressively use colours. You see the yellows, the blues, the reds. And the Fauvists are used to using them colours emotionally. Uh, based on the, um, the mood, based on the environment, the atmosphere. If it's a sunny day, they prefer to use yellow and blues, um, which is expressive in my, is expressed in my works. The resulting exhibition is an indication of a younger generation contributing their artistic voice to societal issues. This world can be a better place if we all show more love to each other, if we stop being selfish and become selfless, if we don't pass by people and ignore them because we feel that there's nothing that they can do for us. It doesn't have to be, there doesn't have to be something you need for you every time you come across people. Sometimes you should just give for the sake of giving. And they come from different backgrounds. Okay, so I'm Rowa is a self-taught artist. Her Traveller series is a triptych representation of moving through different boundaries. I created a body of work called The Travellers and it encompasses Lagos, London and Johannesburg. So these are the cities that I've lived in and the images are self-expressions of my sentiments towards each city. So London um, has got a bit more attitude um, because I would interact with a lot of people I didn't feel like interacting with. I didn't feel like I could be my true self. Um, Johannesburg, I was a bit miserable there and you can see that in the colors and the expressions. And then Lagos, where I am now, is my happy city. So it's a lot more optimistic. The colors are warmer. Um, the women are just a bit happier, um, even though they aren't smiling, but they are. Commit to paper all the things it means to be an urban nomad, disconnected from your starting destination, but not quite at home in a new location. Marcelina is fascinated by women and is doing all she can to play up issues that will make the world a better place for generations. We influence the life of children. The society influences how a child is raised and how that child, who that child comes out to be. So I am of the opinion that we all affect the life of a child. And so, so that's why I go to tailors to get different varieties. So you know, yeah, also involved in this grooming, this process of raising the younger generation. The only photographer in the group, Oladimeji, uses his lens as a map to navigate the duality of human nature and the hard questions surrounding the creation story. I was asking about my own life and the lives of um, other people. Um, I noticed that um, great men, especially um, people that had gone out of their way to conquer the world and to rule their environment, while they would um, do such things and then in the end um, they start to feel a source of emptiness. 
and then they, said, they start to look for deeper meanings to their life. And um, I came about the work of a Jewish rabbi, a philosopher also, that wrote a book called um, The Lonely Man of Faith. And he needs to describe there being two accounts of the creation of man, one in which man was made as a majestic being who sees everything from a utilitarian point of view, which means that he doesn't go into any relationship unless there's something in it for him. The most conceptual and experimental of this bond is Seijiro, whose physiognomical distinction series questions the act of understanding people just by the way they appear. Physiognomical distinction, um, questioning the act of judging people by merely looking at their physical appearance. I think uh, beauty is a thing of the heart, not the thing of the face. Because I'm black does not mean I'm bad. Because uh, I have a tattoo does not make me bad. But because I have uh, a dread does not make me rascal or does not make me bad. I think uh, it is just a thing uh, of the heart, not uh, not to judge people by the way they look physically. I think we should start appreciating people no matter how they look. <laughs> I see life has been a long journey rather than being a destination and I travel life with my art. My signature personifies cars as bringing entities in tattooing uh, in all emotional relationships. They have all brought their different skills to the Rele Art Gallery, which has given them the necessary support to produce these works of art. Artists have been encouraged to use what they have around them and not use money as an excuse. Use your imagination and get that work done. It's good to see some people have been listening. And talking about listening, I still enjoy tunes from our artists for this week, whose songs are evergreen. Born in March 1936, Osita Osadebe is an Igbo Nigerian highlight musician from Atani in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria. His career spanned over 40 years and he is one of the best known Igbo highlight musicians. His best known hit was the 1984 single Osundi Owendi, which means one man's meat is another man's poison. It established him as a leader in the high life genre and one of Nigeria's most popular records ever. Osadebe started his career singing at nightclubs in Lagos in the southwestern region of Nigeria. He had been a part of the Empire Rhythm Orchestra led by E.C. Arinze, in which he had learned much of his music skills. A prolific composer, Osadebe released his first album in 1958 and went on to write over 500 songs, half of which were released commercially. After stints with the Stephen Amache Band, the Central Dance Band, in around 1964, Osadebe struck out as a band leader with his group, the Sound Makers. As he became better established, Osadebe's style matured to include social commentary. Personal trials and tribulations were usually the main topic, and he extended his tracks for the audience, allowing room for people on the dance floor to indulge in the songs. The massive exodus of the Eastern people out of Western Nigeria caused the death of High Life's prominence in the then capital Lagos following the Nigerian Civil War in the late 1960s. On May the 11th, 2007, he died in Connecticut, United States after suffering from severe respiratory difficulties. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Osita Osadebe, popularly called Doctor of Hypertension, is our artist for this week. His songs and instrumentals that follow it are really amazing and are sure to keep you nodding your head if you're not dancing already. And that's Art House today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinlami.